Hi there, this is Gina with GinasCraftingSpot.com. I'm going to do a quick video on my daughter's um, seven, seventh um, birthday and I threw her a, or she had a slumber party. So I already showed you the invitations. Um, really simple. These were the invites. These were the goodie bags. This one has been tore up. The kids decided to write on them. All my hard work and look what they did. Anyway, they loved them. Um, I took the Slumber Party cartridge and I cut out the box. Um, it's on the bottom. Sorry, here it is. It's this box right here. And I did fit to page on a 12 by 12 and it no, eight and a half by eleven, maybe. No, it was twelve by twelve, and it ended up up being three and a half inches. So by the time I folded it and everything, this is the cute little box that I got. And I added one of these giant flowers that I had misted um, from one of my previous videos, and I added a giant gem in the middle. Then I just punched a few, punched one hole on each side. I just punched a couple extra and just put scraps of. Um, it really looked cuter before. Um, the scraps of ribbon. Then I added a little saying, little girls are heaven's flowers. It's really cute. And that is just a stamp set that I had. And then, that was about it. I had embossed this little piece right here. You can't really see it, so it's kind of a wasted step. But anyway, inside I had um, a couple of lip glosses, a couple of um, uh, nail polishes. I have a picture. Maybe I'll post a picture of it. And then a little bit of chocolates, necklaces, peace necklaces, peace sign necklaces rather, and um, some bracelets for them. Just a lot of fun, cute, girly stuff. And they all loved their little goodie bags that they got to take home. So anyway, this is what it looked like before it got all you know, tore up. So now I'm going to make the thank you cards for the girls that came. Um, and I am using a really old Stampin' Up! set, time well spent. And I'm going to take a, it's three and three quarters by three and three quarter inch piece of white cardstock. And all I did, so I'm going to need two of these, one for the outside, one for the inside of my card. And this is my base. It's a pretty fuchsia magenta colored cardstock. I cut at four by four and then I corner chomped the edges on here and on the layer. And I just used my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper. And on this one, I already put my inside part so then we could just write, you know, Kylie could write, Thank you for coming, blah, blah, blah. So there is my base. And this will fit right up there. It's going to be really simple. I'm just going to stamp a little bit and I'm going to use this giant flower. So I'm just going to put that on one of my blocks. And I'm going to take, what is this, um, a Stampin' Up! Pink Passion, I think it is. So I'm just going to ink this up really well with the passion and this one might be I don't know anything if any of the stuff I'm using is still available or not but it's a pretty pink I like it so I shall just stamp it near the top so I have room for my greeting like I said it's super simple it's kind of high you'll see my other ones were a little lower so I'm just wiping this off just with a baby wipe for now. Because that's what I have handy. And then I have this sentiment from that same set, time spent with friends is time well spent. Just ink that up with the same color. And I'll just go a little lower right there. 
beautiful. And all I'm going to do to just fancy it up a little bit, I'm done with my ink. Um, all right, at this point, I could just go ahead and attach to the front. I'm not going to add a ribbon or anything like that. Just a cute little card to say thank you. It was super fun. And all I'm going to do is use the one I'm using is Positively Pink, this marker. And all I'm going to do is go around um, little parts of the flower. I didn't want to, I had to get these out really quick. I was dropping off the invitations for Tyler's party. Um, so I wanted to just not use stickles and have to wait for it to dry. So I decided on just coloring it in with the same color, pretty pink, close enough. And then I'm going to add gems to the flowers in one second. Or I'll just show you because I did. I had to do a few of them. So then I just went around this whole outside of the flower. And this is what it turned out to be. That's kind of cute. Either with or without the coloring around. And then I just added these little gems from Michael's in the dollar bin, the rhinestones in this pretty pink. I just attached those to the flowers and then one to the center. And that is my little card. Just cute and simple, so just so we could go hand deliver them. So, alright, thank you so much for watching. Bye.